Hello, everyone. This is Anthony Apollo, co-founder and CEO of Renza Games. We're building a new platform for video game development and distribution, which uses blockchain technology to automate payments to content creators and also creates a secondary market for digital game resales. Today, I'd like to share our publish, purchase, play demo with you. I'll show you how developers can upload their games, players can purchase that content and launch games right in their browser, all through our Renza Games site. This is our landing page for Renza Games. You'll note quickly, we are in a staging environment for the purposes of this demonstration. However, we did go live on March 31st with games on both the Ethereum and Polygon blockchains. Since we are a blockchain project, we don't require email nor passwords. Users can simply log in with a Web3 wallet, such as MetaMask, which I'll pull open here. So I'm logged into MetaMask. I'm on Renza. I'll quickly hit connect, select MetaMask, and I'm logged in. You can see that we've already got some games available on our store, some content about who we are and what we're looking to build, as well as all of the prerequisite legalese. I will quickly navigate to our game store to show you that we have some games uploaded here already with titles, studios, descriptions. You can see a detailed game page as well as a high score leaderboard for each individual game. However, I want to show you how we can publish games on the platform. So let me go ahead and navigate to our studio. Through our publishing tool, independent game developers, content creators, and legacy publishers who like to sell their retro collections on our platform can upload both assets and games and also establish both revenue sharing and royalty flows for those. I'll navigate to publish a game and start that process. The first input here is the studio. We are Rensa Games, it's just us for now. However, we are onboarding more and more developers. So if you'd like to join us, one of these could be you. I'll click next and actually go ahead to upload the game file here, which are WebGL packages. I'll go grab Token Torch from my list, click next, upload some cover art, pull that in, and then add the title. Our first tranche of games are all crypto themed mini games. So I will pull in the description for that, which I've got here. I could also establish the genre of this game. This one's an action game, click next, and then add some tags that help with searchability and indexing and are captured in the tokens metadata. I also have the option here to set a number of game license tokens that will be available in the store to players. This can be a small number if you want your game to be a scarce digital object. This could be one or maybe 10. Uh, it could also be 10 billion. Uh, for ease of use now, we'll go with 1,000 and I'll click next. And I will set the rating as everybody. We have our own opt-in system here. This is a game that everyone can play and we'll set it as such. I'll click next to go ahead and create our cartridge. In time, we'll allow developers to set what cartridges look like and allow some customizability there through unlocks and different features. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will simply go ahead and upload one we've already created for Token Torch. However, when this process is live, we will let developers set a color for their cartridge. We'll allow them to set an accent color for lighting as well as a texture and the environment and background effect that it'll be set in. I'll click next to set this as a special edition cartridge. And then I will proceed to our distribution page. This is the last screen of the publishing flow where we set pricing and payment terms for each game license token purchased on the platform. We default the price to $30 USD and display an equivalent amount of Ether or Matic depending on which chain you're on. Users also have the option to display some GUI if they wanna work with some very large numbers. But for ease of use now, we will set this in ETH and I will change the price of this game to one ETH to show the math a bit more simplistically. You'll see here that we have a number of wallets which can receive funds at every transaction. The first one that we show, which is a connected wallet, is the wallet I'm attached to right now, ending in B146. By default, I'm entitled to 90% of the revenue share with Renza Games receiving the other 10% for facilitating the transaction. Now, what I can do here is add contributors' wallets and assign them a revenue share based on their contributions to the game that I've uploaded. So I will go ahead and grab some additional wallets 
from another uh, wallet I've got here in Firefox and start adding contributors. So let's say this was my lead engineer. They're gonna get 20% of the distribution of each game. I could add another contributor. Let's say this is going to be Mike the Musician who did all of our music and sound effects. He'll get 10%. And then let's say we also finally have Viola the voice actor. We'll put her wallet address in here and that's a 1% distribution. Now that 100% of the purchase price is allocated amongst multiple wallet addresses, we can go ahead and click publish. This will begin saving our metadata to IPFS, which is a decentralized storage network. Those, that metadata is the descriptions, the tags, the categories. Uh, the actual game files are also being saved at this time as well. Once that process is complete, MetaMask will pop up and enable me to actually issue the tokens that correspond to this game. I'll hit confirm to facilitate that transaction. And now the tokens are minting. Confirming the MetaMask transaction will accomplish two things. One is minting a game owner token, which is deposited in my wallet, ending in B146, denominating me as the owner of this piece of intellectual property and the main creator of this game. Our smart contract will also mint the thousand game license tokens and make those available for sale on our storefront. If I go back to MetaMask, I can see the contract integration and view this on the Etherscan block explorer, which gives us a live look at transactions on chain. So you can see here that my wallet ending in B146 initiated this transaction with the Runs Game smart contract and doing so created a new game owner token. So we know this worked. So we can head back to Runs Games. We'll go back to our store and you'll be able to see that Token Torch is now available. So when I click on Token Torch, I'll be taken to the game page. You'll see the title, studio, description, all the metadata that we created, as well as the cartridge that we created, which you can play around with. So I will quickly go ahead and switch wallets and start the purchase part of this flow. Now that I've reconnected, you'll be able to see that Rensa checks to see if my wallet already holds a game license token for this game, which it does not. As such, I'll see that the price of the game is available in ETH as well as its USD equivalent. And I'll be able to go ahead and buy that game. So I'll click the button and our EULA will pop up. I'll scroll down and accept that. And that will initiate another MetaMask transaction for the actual purchase of the game license token for Token Torch. I'll click Confirm, and that transaction will kick off. Once that transaction is complete, I'll be able to click on the Etherscan link provided, navigate to the Block Explorer, and see how the transaction is completed. You'll see that the new wallet address, 8E20 that I'm using, interacted with the Rent Games contract. And here's where we can see the payment split amongst multiple parties. I'll make this a little bigger. So one Ether, the price of the game license token was transferred from the Rent Game smart contract to our distribution factory, which split up the payment to the different recipients. We've got 20% here for Alex the engineer. We've got our 10% here for Mike the musician. We've got our 1% here for Viola the voice actor. We've got 59% for that B146 wallet, which we used to upload the game and received the game owner token and Renza Games received 10% of that transaction. One more way to show the flow of funds. If I go back to our Firefox window with my other MetaMask wallet, you can see here that our contributors got paid in real time. Alex the engineer got his 0.2 ETH and Mike the musician 0.1, Viola the VA 0.01. If we go look at their accounts on Etherscan, we can also see the payment there, point to Ether, deposited directly to their wallet. So this is the big differentiator for us at Rents of Games. We pay our developers, we pay our content creators, we pay our publishers in real time. Ethereum transactions will take under a minute. 
Polygon transactions will take a few seconds. That is a huge delta from how payments are done for digital game storefronts now, where the people who create games are getting paid on a 30 to 60 day time lag. We can also see the token moving into the wallet of the purchaser. And that is reflected on our front end as well, because now I'm able to play game. And you'll also notice that the licenses remaining has decreased by one. So I will click play game and that will check that I own the token once more. I do. And now the game will launch in my browser. So again, these are uh, simple crypto themed mini games. Uh, I will go ahead and click start. Uh, and these are like crypto themed WarioWare games that will get quicker and quicker as you win different levels. The purpose of this one is to burn se several tokens, um, hence Token Torch. So I can kind of zoom back and forth, catch these things in my uh, flaming garbage can. And as long as I can do that for 10 seconds, I'll be good to go. Once the transaction is final in the game, I'll get a success marker. The game will loop, it'll get faster and faster. And this is how we achieve some of the high scores on our platform. So I'll navigate back to the game store now. Now that you've seen the front to back flow, you'll understand how you can use Rent to Games to publish, purchase, and play games all through our site, all on Web3. Thank you for taking the time to watch our demo today. Stay tuned on Twitter and Discord for more information. And if you are a developer or publisher, please do reach out to us at info at so we can get you on the platform.